Hi again, I'll let you go out of reality on multi offer situation again. So this time I just would like to give you a couple of short examples of how does it work or it doesn't work. And just in support on the previous video I just made. Uh, one of the examples that happened, uh, I think about almost a year ago, I have received a phone call from a friend of mine with a referral. Uh, the lovely couple was selling the property. And I came with a listing presentation, which they asked me to do very, very shortly, very briefly. I did. The property was not 100% prepared, so it would need some preparation work. I would do staging. I do prefer staging. I really, truly believe in it. It does its magic. And this is the most important part. The property needs to be in a tip-top condition in, ro in the order to grab and hold the buyer's uh, attention to the point that they're going to bring you very good offer. Uh, a few minutes after me was another realtor and then another realtor. So a couple of days later I received a phone call that they were thanking me but they decided and they already actually listed with somebody else. I checked MLS. The property price uh, was very low and provision said in listing please bring all offers such as date and time. In other words, they were trying to get multi offer situation because they did not want to get bothered with the weeks and weeks of sale, you know, washing, cleaning, preparing and so on. Two weeks after I checked the price and it was below the market value. I felt I felt really, really sad because I believed and during the listing presentation I've told them your location will not create multi-offer situation, believe you or not. So my advice is go higher, maybe one if not two percent more than market value of the property. And then when the buyer comes, negotiate it slightly down, give a chance to the buyer to feel a victory. That's a kind of location, believe you or not. Some location this is what people want and this is what their um, way of doing business is they didn't do it and they sold it way below the asking price which was already below the market value so after calculation I came to conclusion that they lost good 20 25 thousand dollars on sale which was in their case was approximately two and a half percent of the market value and the explanation of my friend afterwards was oh they were in rush and they're thinking even if you're in rush let's say you have to sell within a month or two do you really make additional 20,000 within one or two months if this is the case I wash my hands and I wish you luck but if it's not take your time really listen to what the realtor is saying and pay attention to the wording if you will that the realtor says, I, 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 I have sold, I have sold, I have done. Or the uh, listing agent genuinely informing you about the market conditions, about how he or she going to market the property and the, the, who, how she or uh, he advising you to market the property. And the marketing, uh, by the way, is the major thing in it is pricing. The other example is quite the opposite. It listing was um, this summer. My old client have asked me to list the property. We listed it, and during the listing presentation, the main thought was should or shouldn't we just try to create multi offer situation? And after consideration, we decided not to. So we priced it whatever whatever it uh, worth. Plus maybe two three thousand dollars just for negotiation. So in other words, we price it aggressively, but not below the market price. Because in the same building, it was condominium apartment. We had a few multi offer situations a few months prior. In other words, in March, April, May, the hottest months of the year, which happens year after year after year. Spring is the selling time but the summertime we had three or four 
almost identical units which are sitting there just like a dead body without moving so my seller said better to have a small bird in the hand than a huge bird in the sky but two three days after they were listed we've got so much attention which we completely did not expect it was july it was slow most of the buyers were either on a vacation or you know it was nothing the point i'm trying to make is very quickly we are we realized that this is huge possibility for multi-offer within a few minutes we did the paperwork and we changed the wording and listing and we added please bring all offers such and such day and time and please put the schedule b and on and on whatever the uh, legal uh, um, paperwork had to be done and believe it or not we got originally three offers but then very very last minute uh, just literally two three minutes before third offer presentation uh, the buyer decided to back out and they changed their mind the bottom line is we have sold it for almost two percent over asking price the seller is happy the buyer is extremely happy because he loved that location and his uh, life situation was such like he really wanted that particular location that particular building and of course I have to you know pat myself on the shoulder I did a good job staging I found people who were painting the property I find the cleaning crew and I personally was you know shopping around for the you know everything the pictures the pillows the dishes the curtains this and that whatever had to be done we've done it and we sold for excellent price so everybody is happy